Welcome back to Dang It Plays Dream Daddy. Mm. Uh, today we're playing actually not Dream Daddy, but The Shining, the video game, also with some Nazi undertones, the game for 3DS and Knuckles. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> these kids have been staring at us for a long time. They've been at that since. They all got the <laughs> same eyes. Of course, their house would have like an anchor on it, like dead, like secretly gay, kind of like sound of music thing going on. We're gonna be the uh, the frow line that comes in and loosens their kid up. Anyway, yeah, we need to get our mind off those kids. Yeah, I need someone to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need, I need to bleach my eyes. Aww. You've been awake for what three hours? And that's three hours too many. It's never too early to invest in a personal IRA. Well, the actual dad tips. <laughs> As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Uh, Ooh. Okay. Dude! Bro! Dude. I turn around. Oh, wait. And no. I'm greeted by Justin. <laughs> no, this is me. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Craig? Justin? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Holy... Holy, wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Mm -hmm. It's been too long, dude. Sorry. Yeah, wow, you look great. Hey. <laughs> well, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Just like the Justin in real life. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. Uh, we went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. Sometimes. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're, you're so big now. Hi, hello. Oh, cute baby. Oh, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. It's Say a hi, dumb River. Name. <laughs> it's a dumb name. <laughs> <laughs> he picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily, like rivers do. Are you uh, babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Yeah, I made her with my dick and everything, dude. You know, I still get way up in that pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working on California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. Wherever that is, dude. <laughs> no kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashly doing? I mean. Ashley. Ashley is her name. It's obviously not Smashly. She actually still goes by Smashly. Wow. And uh, we got divorced last what year. What a tool. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's all news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Cop copacetic, thank you. Twins? You have <laughs> three kids? Ain't life something, bro, right? Bro, I know you want to, like, bro, <laughs> accentuate the bro fact that you're from bro Lafornia, home of the bros, but we don't say bro that often. <sighs> Keg Stand Craig is a father of three. Keg Stand Craig? Oh, <laughs> it's uh, my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands, you know, hence the creative name, Keg Stand Craig. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a Craig and then drink it from the keg, right... <laughs> He, he was very good at sucking from the top, you know? Uh, right. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really got to keep up my heart pace. A heart rate brought River along for, you know, resistance training. Bro, we get it. You're from California. You daily jog? I jog. Yearly? Really? On January 1st, when I promise myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. Uh, you should join me sometime. Can I join you even when you're not jogging? I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. Oh, is that what we like? Just eat each other's sauce. Uh, all right, sure. Sound, sounds great. Great. Let's get going soon. Or let's let's get that uh, going soon. I better get going. Uh, good seeing you guys. God. You could squash a watermelon between those thighs. And Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in. And jogs away. 
Man, I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. He used to look exactly like me. We're genetic twins. What is that? The Craig I know is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. He reminds me of my roommate Josh. <laughs> One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bruh. Bruh. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Daddy. <laughs> Amanda and I flop onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Uh. Too bad we're going to have to put my stuff back, right back to these boxes in a few months. What? What do you mean? No, don't say that. Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. Oh, you're going to college. That's right. Right, right, yeah. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around and having a bunch of gay sex with other dads without you judging me. I'll come visit. I'll text you every day. Just don't send me, you know, drunk texts, all right? I'll take a lot of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major, so... What are you doing with your life? <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Hmm. Of course. Uh, are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, I'll, I'll never be lonely with all these dilfs around. I mean, I'll get a dog, I guess, Sounds or something. Like something I do. <laughs> A dog? Forget our school. I'll stay with the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Meme says dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what. That's what it cost me to give up my up on my dreams. I'm one with simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Laughs. And laughs. Ah! Uh, suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides the mail slot. Speaking of college... Colegio. <laughs> Amanda darts over to the envelope and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Yes! This is from McGowan... Oh, that's yours. <laughs> from McGowan College of Art and Design. Oh, they even have a dog on in front of it. Open. Hmm. Oh, but I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's like my entire future. Not a big deal. Hmm. And Britta with teeth. What's wrong with you, girl? That's wrong. We have a letter opener, but okay. Uh -huh. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. And blah blah blah. Um, we. Uh -huh. Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer your admission to McGowan's College Art of Design. Aw, oh. oh, sucks. She takes the letter and she throws it on the ground. <laughs> She's <laughs> not <laughs> gonna <laughs> be a part of this system. <laughs> oh, sweetie. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew that I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull in Amanda for a big daddy hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other art school is gonna wanna snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> are you actually fine or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face is the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, no, before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Ugh. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool and you're also gonna have, I mean... <laughs> I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yeah. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans tonight for all the DILFs we've met today. <laughs> yeah? What are your plans? Hot daddy sex. Think of plans? Clubbing? 
Yep, we're going clubbing, boys. I'm going to put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, all the ones, you know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. All right, but I'm, I'm not going to pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to have hot daddy sex. Go ahead and watch the, the game. game. Nice. Nice. Which game? No. You know, the game, the one that's on tonight, you know, that game on TV, you know, the old, like, sports ball, ha, huh, we don't know sports joke. Oh, it's <laughs> so funny. Okay, cool. Well, I do know I'm going to do drugs and commit some <laughs> light arson with the Emma's. All right, cool. I'm concerned you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. I'm into drugs. Mm. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money money laundering at the least. I'm a street rat, pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Yes, Dad. Just making sure. I give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? No, making fun of the sports. <laughs> making fun of sports is played out. Yes. All right then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear right out before Amanda's friends arrive, because we didn't want to have to draw like actual like character portraits for her friends. Yeah. Oh, uh, but she's talking to me. Hey, uh, but don't forget that you have a meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. English teacher. Is he also a dilf? All right, Mr. Vega. Mr. Vega. Oh, Senor Vega. Yeah, oh, I totally remember. Oh, I'll be there. Hmm. Good tire pressure is essential to optimal mileage. Well, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure what the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. Because I'm a dad, and I don't know technology, dir her her so I'm just going to pick a direction and walk in it. You go so. Let's go. Cool. Okay. We're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game. Really. In the distance. Could it be? Jim and Kim's a big burned out neon sign hangs above the tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? Alright. It'll do. The bar's small and dimly lit. The crack of pool ball sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover over the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What will it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. <laughs> the bartender slides me a cold one. Unfortunately, I have no boys to crack open this cold one. <laughs> <laughs> Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Wow. Oh, I awkwardly turn my attention to the game. I love how the game is capitalized, which is playing one on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Hey. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass sidles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. I don't want any straight romance in my game. Hey, hey, sailor. Hey, sailor. <laughs> hey, sailor. Do you have a ramen flavor Pringles? <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Ah. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Oh, no, I actually just moved to this part of town today. Uh, I'm David, by the way. Ah. Are you watching the game? Doom, doom. Yeah, my f preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Hey. Oh, I love that team. And I also love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Uh, buy a gala drink? Let's buy Mary a drink. Hell yeah. 
I almost reluctantly single to the bartender, or signal the bartender and order Mary another glass of wine. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't their first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. Suppose I gotta keep you company now. So, what do you want to know? What is what? your D? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the game? Uh, they really are tossing those balls around, huh? Mm. Truth told, I wasn't really paying attention. I just saw a solid ball joke and went for it. That's respectable. So, what else can you tell me about this part of town? It's quiet, that's for sure. If you want an idyllic little life with white picket fences, this is the place to do it. But every town has its secrets, you know. Secrets. She takes a sip of her drink. That was a little too ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Dum -dum. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, maybe some other time. Suit yourself, sailor. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch the game, TM. Another beer over another cold one. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close to what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team. <laughs> I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Grr. Go team. It's the broody man from the coffee spoon. Buh. He sits alone sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, uh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. Yeah. Yeah, your team, yeah, look at it. I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us, based on mutual love for the okay. game. He motions to the bartender, who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks, I'm David. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you. Yeah. Robert chuckles. <laughs> She's a peach. Well, you pick the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Cam's. I is there actually a, a Jim or Cam that runs this place? No. That'd be Neil. Hey. <laughs> Neil lays from across the bar. Still here. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? beer but i'll drink most things you like shots you like shots Ooh, shots fired i like shots yeah thank you nods to neil robert nods to neil he serves up two shots of whiskey he hands one to me here's to your health we take the shots the whiskey burns going down but i'm not a bitch so i don't make a face I think this is what making friends is. Okay, David. This guy's out of my friend league. And also my, my steaming hot gay sex romance league. But I, I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say a cool leather jacket. Rugged good looks is a little gay. I like your jacket. Thanks. Been in my family a long time. Passed down from my firstborn, passed down from firstborn to firstborn. Cursed, some would say. Man, this guy is mysterious. And cockawee. Wake, 
more kakui than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? <laughs> well, <laughs> my daughter kicked me out of the house. That's the cool sounding one, right? Not like forever. She was having a sleepover with her friends. Family type, huh? Single dad. Hmm. He gets up. Be right back. Got a powder in my nose. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Huh. I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a, gar if a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be cool. <laughs> One of sex? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you in the bathroom. I'm gonna bend you over the toilet and take you to pound town. But first, I mean, he grabs his little jacket. Where my jacket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? I guess we are. <laughs> Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Oh. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? Uh, wow, me too. Do you also happen to have a daughter and are single? Hey. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. There's that creepy Nazi guy with the four kids. <laughs> We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, David. So are we doing this or what? Mm. Oh. You know, do you wanna do you wanna come inside or not? Wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. We're gonna politely reject him. <gasps> okay. No, thank you. Later. <laughs> like we're we're gonna play uh, we're gonna play a game with him. You know, you can't just give it to him for free. He's got to know us better. No, thank you. Uh, I'd better call it a night. Catch you around. Mm. Sure. I head home. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and buzzing with whiskey. What did he mean by "Are we gonna do this or not"? I plop down on the couch, and I'm asleep before I even get a chance to take my shoes off. I'm sure it actually wasn't sex. It was going to be like, I don't know. We're going to like talk about the game and do shots. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, oh. early bird. Oh, no, that's you. <laughs> Rise and shine, early bird. You still want to work out? This is Craig, by the way. Smiley face. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m.? Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. Whoops, must have winked back out. I checked my phone again. Uh, hey, bud, still want to get your swole on? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ready to tear the, up the track, hit and hit me up. HMU, buddy. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out. But it's Craig. So I decided to tell him to fuck off and end the episode. Okay. Oh, wait, can we? Okay, yeah. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Dang and Plays Dream Daddy. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hashtag... I want you to wear this jacket. And I want you to... Come Fuck by my... me in the ass. <laughs> I want to talk about the game for a bit. Oh, oh, okay. I want you.